Spotlight presents. Part 2 of a three-part video series. In the previous video one, I presented the first two limitations of science. In this video two, the next four limitations of science are presented. In this background, I will again define science and list the steps in the scientific method to help us remember these terms correctly. The American Dictionary defines science as the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the natural and physical world. The scientific method involves experimental attempts to understand and explain the principles and forces working in the natural universe through a. Observation b. Formulating hypothesis about the observation c. Experiment and data gathering d. Conclusion, reporting and evaluating findings In the following sections, I will continue to show that science has serious limitations in its ability to answer the most profound and fundamental questions on the nature of existence. In this part 2 of a three-part video series, I present the next four limitations of science in the top 10 limitations. Limitation number three. Science uses models to explain natural and physical phenomena. In science and the scientific method, models such as the atomic model of matter are used to describe the structure and behavior of the observable universe. All scientific findings and knowledge are, therefore, never a discovery of the absolute truth, but are subject to falsification and refinement when new data or knowledge becomes available. For instance, physics, chemistry, and biology can only describe the structure and behavior of matter based on models, but cannot demonstrate through the scientific method what the fundamental nature of matter is. Scientists keep using these models as long as they are successful in describing natural phenomena. Otherwise, they begin to search for alternate models that will best describe these phenomena. In physics and chemistry, the current accepted model in the atomic theory of matter states that matter is made up of atoms as building blocks. Albert Einstein also highlighted this point in relation to the particle of light called photon in quantum mechanics when he stated that All these 50 years of brooding have brought me no nearer to the answer to the question what are photons or light quanta. Limitation number 4 Observational limitation of science on the size of the universe The limitation of science is apparent when studying the whole universe in astrophysics. A cosmological limit is imposed on experimental observation at vast distances by light from the distant edge of the universe not reaching the observer and therefore where nothing can be observed. The scientifically observable universe comprises of all matter that can be observed from Earth or its space-based telescopes and exploratory probes. The electromagnetic radiation from these objects has had time to reach the solar system and Earth since the beginning of the cosmological expansion at the Big Bang. Thus, the observable universe is limited to a spherical volume centered on the observer for Earth-centered universe with a diameter of 93 billion light-years. The word observable in this sense does not refer to the capability of modern technology to detect light or other information from an object or whether there is anything to be detected. It refers to the physical limit created by the speed of light itself. No signal can travel faster than light, hence there is a maximum distance, called the particle horizon, beyond which nothing can be detected since the signals could not have reached us yet. Some parts of the universe are too far away for the light emitted since the Big Bang to have had enough time to reach Earth or space-based instruments and therefore lie outside the observable universe, and this delineates a limitation of science at the universal scale. In addition, the universe has been observed to be expanding at more than the speed of light.
Therefore, a lot of matter, galaxies, are moving out of the particle horizon and disappearing into the unobservable part of the universe every second. The size of the whole universe, therefore, can never be determined scientifically as to whether it might be infinite in extent or not. Limitation number 5. Observational limitation of science at the microscale. The limitation of science is also apparent in observations in the microworld on the scale of microscopic systems in chemistry, biology, and physics. In quantum mechanics, for instance, when we reach the Planck scale, we cannot define measurement in any sensible way because of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This implies, at least from the empirical, scientific, point of view, we are restricted from accessing phenomena that are below such a scale whether they exist or not. Additionally, the shortest wavelengths so far used to see atoms are those of electron waves via the electron microscope. At early stages of science, atoms were thought to be the smallest particle of matter. However, particle physicists nowadays have smashed even the constituents of atoms, and have reached the level of smaller elementary particles. Consequently, similar to the case of the universe, limitations are imposed on what the scientific method can reveal through observation in the microworld. Limitation number 6. Science is limited in observing the inner experiences of conscious beings. The inner experiences of conscious human beings cannot be observed or analyzed using scientific tools. Scientific methods cannot be employed to observe and quantify human love, empathy, joy, and peace, suffering, hate, and abstract concepts such as beauty, morality, and ethics. Science and the scientific method cannot be used to observe or measure non-physical or abstract concepts, and materialist science is out of its domain when it comes to these areas. These experiences are completely internal to the individual conscious being. What is experienced internally such as feelings, pain, stress, anxiety, fear, and emotions, love, empathy, joy, suffering, hate, as well as externally such as colors, sounds, smell, touch, and heat, or cold, arise in the brain of the conscious being. There are no colors, sounds, smells, and feelings such as pain in the natural and physical universe independent of the conscious being. This brings us to the end of part 2 of this series of videos. Please subscribe to this channel and look out for the last part, part 3, which will be posted soon.